Greetings and welcome to the other Thursday afternoon vodcast podcast. I'm your host, Jason Oliveira. Billy, what the fuck? Fireball goes down so smooth. I just want to preempt this story by saying I love my children very much. J- just so you know, you know, it's this is. I was a little upset today. Oh yeah, and check out this angle. What do you think of this, huh? I kind of like it. I think it's a pretty good angle. I don't know. If you guys want me to start adding this angle in every now and again, let me know. Just I just decided to throw it up there. Oh 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 boy, man, I am having a day. I haven't been able to pull shit together today. I just feel like I am constantly behind the eight ball trying to catch up. I woke up my son Grayson when I went up to get the dog to take him out today at um uh it was it was about eight thirty. And uh I said, Your your meeting's coming up, da 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 da. I left Griffin to sleep because he he doesn't have a meeting until later on. And actually on Thursday, yeah, I think it's like eleven. So I um Went downstairs, fed the dog, took the dog out, did a few things. Um, and at that point, it was uh, it was well after nine. So I, I went back into the room, and he's still sleeping. So I said, Grayson, get up, email your teacher, and apologize for not making it to the meeting and start doing some schoolwork or come get some breakfast. Went ahead, and I woke up Griffin at the same time, just let him know, make sure he was up. And I figured that way, if they both wanted to eat at the same time, it makes my life easier in the morning. And any time my life can be easier in the morning, it's totally radical. Uh, what else? What else? Fuck my ass. Uh, I went back up again. I went back up again around... 10 o'clock because I no 10 15 because I need I had to tell him that I was leaving in about an hour to bring Carol some lunch and lo and behold he's still asleep and during this time I'd already gone downstairs and I'd fed Bunny and I spent a little bit of time with her and I switched a load of laundry over and I folded a load and then um you know 11 o'clock rolls around I set an alarm so I wouldn't forget to bring Carol food and I go upstairs and I once again, find both of them still asleep. And at this point now, Griffin is meeting is missing his meeting. So uh, needless to say, I'm, I'm not very happy at this point, but I have no time. I have to leave. I have to go bring Carol her lunch. And um, so I do that. And on the way back, I figured I would stop by the ABC store to pick up <laughs> some Fireball and um, to pick up some Kapali, which is what I did. Unfortunately, I got there at 11:43 and they don't open until noon. So I had um overestimated the amount of time it was going to take me or underestimated the amount of time it was going over under it doesn't really fucking matter. But either way it took me a lot longer lot less long, not quite as long. Not quite as long <laughs> to get from point A to point B. So I figured well, you know, I'll I'll run into Food Lion. They've been carrying Drake products for a while now and they've been recently restocking them. And uh, they still haven't had Funny Bones, though. And I don't know why. That, that's that got to be their bestseller because no other company makes anything quite similar to that. Like, there is there is a, a hostess, like a, a ring ding or a ding dong or whatever the fuck they do, their version of it that has peanut butter in it. But that's not a Funny Bone. A Funny Bone is a special thing, and it's got that, I've, I've said it before, that thunkiness when you bite into it, and there's just some some meat to it. You know what I mean? It's not like a light and fluffy. It's it's a salt. You eat one of those and you're good for a while. Nonetheless, I can't get them around here. So I was going to, anytime I see them there, I'm going to pick up four or five, six boxes because they're so good and I don't eat a lot of sweets. So it should last me a while. So I, I looked for a few things in uh food line. I picked up a few things, bottle of wine. And then, um, I was just trying to kill time at that point, but I ran out. I just didn't want to just fart around in there. So I checked out and I went to my car, put the stuff in my car and I waited outside of the VABC store for just like, I don't know, maybe it might've been five minutes. And in that time, several people had shown up. This is a regular thing. Like I, I, I didn't think at this store you would see it as much as you would. And I, I don't mean to sound terrible saying this, but like downtown is more accessible to people who can walk to that store and I could understand that store on, you know, at opening, you know, the alcoholics. Pe- what does that say about me? 
I didn't need to go today. Well, I did. I was out of Kapali, so. All right. Nonetheless, I didn't expect to see people waiting outside of the store in Boonesboro. It's a little little more upscale, but I guess those are the upscale drunks. <laughs> so um, went in, got what I needed to get. Actually, the Fireball was a last-minute purchase uh, just to top off the day I've been having. So I got home at about 12.15 put the groceries away and I think, oh, the kids must be doing their fucking schoolwork because it's goddamn 1215. Get the groceries put away and I I don't hear anything. So I'm like, please, please don't let, don't, don't make the demon come out today. Don't, let's let him rest another day. But they couldn't do it. They just couldn't do it. And, and Grayson heard me coming up the stairs and I know, ooh, what's that? I think he knew I was not going to be happy. And I, I managed to, to keep it, you know, um, I reined myself in. I didn't completely lose my shit. But needless to say, I've done everything in my power. Yet, yeah, sure, I could be up there and shaking them and dumping water on them. But they, they're they 11 and 13 now. They They are definitely at the age where they should be responsible enough to at least, at the very least, get up. <laughs> I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Uh, I want to let you know that I am still waiting on the... Uh, hang on a second, let me get rid of this. I just want to let you guys know that I'm still waiting on the results of my DNA test. We've gone from registered to kit... Re- hang on. Uh, I'll just take a screenshot of it. Uh, it's gone from registered to kit received to quality analysis to past quality analysis to extracting DNA. DNA com- computation. Computation quality review. And now we're in raw data setup, and we have two more steps to go, which is algorithmic report generation. That's a tough one. And uh, process complete. It's a tough one. Um, Yeah, so as soon as that's ready, I'm going to do it. I am going to sit down, and we'll talk about it, and we'll go over it. Maybe there'll be some secrets and some mysteries we'll discover together. And maybe there won't be. I don't know. But it'll be still be a really fun video to make and... uh, to share with you guys so thank you guys for stopping by and checking these out if you're loving watching them as much as i'm loving making them please consider liking commenting subscribing sharing and hit the little bell icon to let you know every time i put a new one out take care of yourselves make somebody smile today and i'll catch you guys in the next episode good morning good evening good night jason out